thank you so much for spending your weekend with us. It's NWA USA, Joe Galley, Tim Storm, and it's time. It's time. Velvet time, baby. It's Welcome. always velvet always time. Velvet time. <laughs> Every Saturday always. velvet time. And it is time for some major, major matches. Jax Dane is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Eric Jackson. Boy, that kid had a lot of heart going right in the face of the national champion. He's going to have a shot. He could really, a miracle could happen. He's going to need a miracle. <laughs> he might need take it. He yeah. might need it's it. He's going to take a miracle. Also, we heard from Luke Cox. I mean, he is just red hot at Homicide after what happened at Always Ready. He has demanded to face the biggest, the strongest, the toughest competitor, and that match is happening now. Go. The following match is one fall with a 15-minute time limit. It's Rusey Verse coming at you live, straight from the 865, Blunt County, Tennessee. This is Thrill Billy Silas, accompanied by Pollo Del Mar. Well, we've seen Pollo Del Mar here in the NWA before in this manager capacity, and now oh my Thrill Billy Silas is coming out here. Um, from what I understood, he found what he said was the prettiest woman he'd ever seen. And he wanted to have her at his side at all times That's in Poyo sweet. Del Mar. Very sweet. I like that. Keep in mind, folks, Poyo Del Mar is in, I don't know, seven, eight inch heels. Look at those boots. That's, but Thrill Billy Silas, I mean, he is a tall, tall, tough individual, six foot five, a real mountain of a man from here in Tennessee. And uh, there is his vision of beauty. In Pollo hey, Del Mar. We all have our visions. Hey, man. More power to you. Yeah. Good for you, Thrill Billy. Good for you, Pollo. Thank you. Why not? <laughs> right? Good for good on both of you. So oh, it's a win. It, I don't know. He's got he tips, man. So I, it's a win-win. And Tim, I, there's a lot of guys, especially in pro wrestling, that dip. I think it's gross. I'm I think sorry. it's gross, too, especially if you're going to go kiss your girlfriend, you know, like after you do it. Ew. Yeah. But apparently Polo doesn't, uh, doesn't mind. I, I guess. She's, she's going to hold guess. the, the spit she, cup for him. Does she yeah. drink it? Oh, oh. What you do Settle for love? Down. What you do for love? You know. And his opponent, hailing from New Orleans, Louisiana, he is one half of the Hawks RE. This is the Southern Stopper, Luke Hawks. Yeah, Luke Hawks. He is all business right now, making his way to the ring. We've already heard from him. He was absolutely livid about what happened at Always Ready after the blindsiding attack by the Fixers. He went in to try to help, and Homicide really was just kind of hanging out with the Mortons, at least in his perspective. I don't know, it was kind of the heat of battle. I don't know if I exactly see it that way, but definitely Luke Cox, he is angry, he is passionate, and he wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Homicide. Honestly, he wants to take his anger out on anybody in front of him. Well, on a good day, Luke Cox is incredibly intense. Now give him some kind of motivation like that behind him, just turning it up another notch or two. Here comes the bell, and... Uh, um, I... Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Poyle Damar has put the uh, the spit cup right in front of Velvet. After she spit in it, I oh, watched her spit yeah. in it. And well, now I, I, have it, I have it is right she dipping too? Good. Between this and Magic Jake with the cigarettes, Why do I, I don't like to, this. I have to sit here and look at this. All right. Okay, anyways, back to the action. Here, here we go. Whew. Howard him into the hey, You know what? Big debut, big opportunity for Thrill Billy Silas. I mean, Luke Hawks has always been a top-tier competitor, and honestly, he's become a, an international star. Yeah, yes, he has. Absolutely. Actor, yes, too. Look at him, not back, I'm not backing yeah. down. I don't care how big you are. But this ain't about acting, this ain't about anything but really just kicking butt at this point. I mean, just letting out some frustrations on the thrill billing. So he pulled his tights and his hair, apparently. Well, he's got two hands, I guess it's possible. Yeah, it's unlikely. I mean, this is the type of action I, a lot of our NW fans, they are just dying to see. Mm. Two tough guys throwing hands, big chops to the chest. It's the thrill belly, gets the reversal. Oh. What a big shoulder tackle. Get up, punk. That's what wow. he said. Wow. Mm, not a good idea. Into the cover, shoulders are down. One, One. count. Wow, and Poyle Del Mar. Frustrated. Once again, Poyle Del Mar is an official manager. She has she her is. manager's license, which is why she's allowed to be out here ringside being a second. 
That's oh, no, he didn't. Oh, 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 my God. Look belly. at the power. Ducks the clothesline. Luke Cox. Oh, the spin kick. Spin kick to the face. I'm so impressed by the athleticism oh, one of Luke count. Cox. I don't, I, mean, I don't want anybody to underestimate how tall, how big Thrill Billy is. He, oh, yeah. That, that spinning back heel kick, that pivot, that's impressive. Got some air time on yeah, that one. That's some dexterity. And look at the toughness. Look at those stomps in the corner. And I mean, look at, look at the combination that he just showed. He just showed the power on that, on that belly to belly. He showed that flexibility on that back heel kick, and then he showed that viciousness in the corner where he just oh, yeah. stomping a hole in him. Oh my gosh. And you have to be that one tough customer to go to, the, to go to the boss and say, find me the yeah. tallest, toughest, roughest guy you can, because I got to beat somebody yep. up. And that's what he's doing I right mean, now. Oh. He is lighting up that chest of the thrill belly. Oof. Left hand, and now a right hand with a chop. Ambidextrous, Luke Cox. And he can use both hands. Yeah, there you go. Kick to the midsection, the Thrill Billy. Getting some momentum now with a punch of his own. In oh. the, the headbutt. Oh, oh shoulder my, close my, my gosh. goodness! The wow. impact of that. I hope Luke Cox wow. is okay after that. Now that oh, oh, one, one count. count. Whoa, he, so, Luke Cox yeah, is tough. I, I He's just, tough. Yeah. No, I was going to say he took a little too long to get into that cover, but even just a one count, right? wow. Still targeting the face. And the thrill, Billy, coming off the ropes. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my Got him in the nose. Got him in the nose with that kick. Yeah, look at those eyes. Luke Nobody Hawks home. Get to his feet. He gets up. And you talked about hesitation. No hesitation on Luke Hawks there. When he gets oh, to no. his feet, he's already waiting for you. He's sitting there waiting, waiting to throw that punch into this forehead. That's all experience right there. European uppercut. Cover now. Two count. Picking the throw belly up. Knee to the midsection. Oh, wow. Up onto the shoulders of the six foot five man. Oh, oh. drapes him across the top rope. The ribs coming down hard on those top ropes. And the thrill, Billy. Oh, drops the elbow right across the jaw. Into the cover. Shoulders down. Again, a one count. I think the frustration is starting to show there on Thrill Billy's face. And what what's what is Poyo, Poyo doing? doing up there? Just, Just encouraging wait, wait, her guy. Oh, she got the chew. She took the chew oh, okay. out of her well, mouth you know. and put it in his mouth. No. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm gonna, I just threw up in my mouth. But you know what? It's well, giving Luke Cox. I was oh, just going to say, the it, it gave the Luke face. Cox just enough time to recover and get the pin. Oh, 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 oh. The winner of this match, Luke Cox. You know, it's, it's that new love that'll really distract you, really cloud your vision yeah, and your judgment. That was a terrible idea. That was disgusting. That I was that was gross. I grew up in my, in my own mouth watching that, actually. A <laughs> dip. And now you can see Homo or, or he wants homicide. Yeah, he does. Luke Cox he's, he's, wants homicide. And you're, and again, he went, he went and asked for the biggest, toughest man he could find. And he beat him. And beat him. But you better be careful calling out, calling out homicide. That's all I'm saying. Homicide is the real deal. I, Luke Hawks is not going to back down, but he's asking for something. Uh, Luke Hawks is very tough in his own right as well. All right, folks, we got to keep things moving along. Mae Valentine, she's backstage with Chris Silvio Esquire. Please welcome legal representative for Jack Stain, Mr. Chris Silvio Esquire. Mr. Esquire, I assume you're here on a legal matter. False. Objection. Sustained. I'm here on an illegal matter. And that matter is assault. A young punk named Eric Jackson, I've never even heard of the kid, steps into the ring and decides that he is going to put his hands on the Dane event. Do you know what that means? Do you know what he's just done? Not only has he violated the law, which drives me absolutely crazy, he put my client, my moneymaker, in danger, and now somehow the kid's got a shot at the National Heavyweight Championship? How many matches has Eric Jackson won? How many court cases has Eric Jackson won? What has he done? Who has he beat? Billy Corgan? I'm about to see you in court because this match is not happening. 
Okay, Mr. Esquire, thank you so much. Wrestling at the Chase is back August 27th and 28th as the NWA returns to the historic Chase Park Plaza Hotel in St. Louis, Missouri for NWA 74. Two nights of incredible action featuring title offenses from all the NWA champions. Plus, NWA wrestling legends will be in the Coruscant Ballroom for NWA's 74th anniversary extravaganza. Tickets are moving fast, so get yours now at nwatix.com. That's nwatix.com. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. The National Wrestling Alliance and Fight brings you the ultimate streaming service for everything NWA. This is NWA All Access. For just $49.99 a year, you'll get every single NWA pay-per-view, NWA Power days before the rest of the world, NWA USA, and special fight-exclusive content. All the pay-per-views, all the action, all the power. For only $49.99 a year, that's a savings of over $100 versus just ordering everything alone. To subscribe, visit fight.tv today. That's F-I-T-E dot TV. Join the thousands of fans that have already subscribed to the toughest brand in professional wrestling. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. Please welcome the Church's Money, Black G's, and Austin Idol. No, no, no. Gentlemen. No, 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 The one and only Universal Heartthrob, owner, CEO, and founder of Idol Mania Sports Management. My apologies. I'd like to ask you, gentlemen, what is the nature of your business relationship? Perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, I mean, I went out and obviously went on a global search, found the most qualified individual to join Idle Mania Sports Management, and this is the guy I hand-selected, cherry-picked him, chose him because I trust him him yeah all about trust so you're looking at you're looking at a superstar right here and geez is idol your boss now or are you equals may may if i may i want to give a little bit of praise to the universal heartthrob for handpicking me to be junior executive of idol mania sports management he is a legend and he knows talent he knows money when he sees it now when i walked into the nwa i had a plan and ever since i put that plan into motion, we've been successful, baby, success. Now, as far as if I have a boss, I don't have a boss. Do you have anything to add to that, Mr. Idol? Well, actually, he does have a boss. Whoa, 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 whoa. We talked about this, OG. We talked about it. We're all equals. It's all about a team, team effort. There's no bosses. I mean, I'm a boss, but, uh, you know, you know how I do things. You know how we do things. We do things together. We do things for the betterment of Idle Mania Sports Management in conjunction with Church's Money Enterprises. Am I right? You're absolutely right, but one must remember, you are a junior executive. Uh, hey, founder of... Owner, CEO, President, CFO, Chief Marketing Officer. Uh, not to cut you off, OG. The whole junior executive thing, I, I was never feeling that too much, man. I mean, how about we get rid of the junior and it's just executive? I mean, I got my thing going. Church's Money Enterprises, baby. Church's Money Enterprises. But you didn't have the global recognition till I gave you your first real break in professional wrestling. Now let's be real, let's keep it honest. You were nowhere to be found, seen, or heard from until I discovered you, which is true. I discovered you, brought you here. Wait, 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 wait a second. Made you, I even gave you a name tag and you haven't been wearing it lately, I noticed. Where's your junior executive name tag? What happened to that? Check this out, OG. I respect you, I appreciate you, but it's all about the team. It's all about Idol Mania Sports Management in conjunction with Church's Money Enterprises. Thank you so much, gentlemen. There you go.
Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Danny W Deals, Triple D, the deal machine, whatever you want to say. If you excuse me, I'm playing hurt. I've been upgraded to doubtful. Here we are, lovely Candy. How are you, Candy? We got not feeling too good. I know, it's a conspiracy. We'll get into that in a little bit. First, we got a couple things we got to talk about right now. I know always ready already happened, but you still always got to be ready. See this tea right here? Well, your Uncle Dan Dan still made a few. I still got a few left. I even got the champ, personal friend of the deal's house. Don't know if I ever told you that. To sign a couple 8 by 10 so a couple will still come with it. Hey, that's a cool hat. Where'd you get that? Well, we're selling it right now. Are we? Yeah. Oh, well, and they're limited, too. Look at this. And it's a Velcro. Is that a Velcro candy? Absolutely. Oh, you can adjust it. I like this. You you like tractors. That's kind of, that's a nice green. Oh, what happened? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Also, look at this. I'm all over the place right now. Look, it's hot outside, right? I look terrible in this. You'd probably look good in it. It's a racerback tank. We got those. We got regular tanks, too. You know that. Oh, NWA USA, the deal man show. Everybody knows about this. Pretty soon going to be running for GM. We'll get to that later. See this right here? I got the nice future color. Oh, it's a wonderful color. We got that one too. Retro 1981 video game. You weren't even alive yet, but the Dan Dan was, but you weren't alive. But this one right here, that's actually almost gone. Look at this, the Pride t-shirt, nice powder blue, this nice powder blue zip. But do you think we should make some more because they're almost gone? Might be gone. The problem is, is that the neck is injured by Medusa and mysteriously, I think she hired a horse to kick candy and try to kill her, take her out because her deals are so good. The problem was we didn't make her any merchandise. Here you go, Deuce. Look at that. The deal man, your own trash can. All righty. We got anything else? We don't got anything else. You need to hit up nationalwrestlingalliance.com. Hit the shop logo. Got anything to say? Our deals are too good. They're too good. They're so good, they're trying to kill us. The following match is one fall with a 20 minute time limit. It is for the NWA National Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first from Los Angeles, California, he is the distraction. Eric Jackson! Eric Jackson, with all the guts and all the intensity, has really gotten himself into a position where he can make history on this episode. He's going to need to make history. Make history. Get in the face. I was going to say, make history or be history. Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah you're, it's a big ask. And his opponent, from Bakewell, Tennessee, he is the NWA National Heavyweight Champion. This is the Dane event, Jax Dane. I mean, Jax Dane has already given two severe beatdowns on Eric Jackson, and he is standing tall and oh, coming here to drop off his sunglasses. Which, if you think about it, is, is kind of a commitment to expectations here. He's beat people without taking the sunglasses That's off. True. He's beat people without taking the vest off. Yeah. Those look like some pretty expensive uh, sunglasses, though. Every match, every, especially every title match, is super important as we get closer and closer to our two-day pay-per-view, NWA 74. We're heading back to the chase, ladies and gentlemen. Tickets available at NWATIX.com. Tim Storm, you have fought Jack Stane on a number of Man. occasions. What does Eric Jackson need to do to maybe just survive this match? Uh, at this point, he might be best uh, suited to roll out the ring. I was going to say back. leave. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I mean, Jack Stane on a, on, a, on a nice day is intense, physical, brutally punishing. What does a nice day for Jack Stane consist of, Tim? Uh, <laughs> stepping on people's necks, I think. <laughs> okay. Eric Jackson, though, is a Not very back. accomplished Not back collegiate down at all. wrestler. But I mean, he's way outside his weight. No, class and, it, and you know, I, you can't ever, ever, you know, take away the fact of how effective collegiate wrestling is. But Jack Stane is a monster. And he just put his Jack Stane just put his his palm on Eric Jackson's face and threw him across the ring. Oh man! Not Showing. even taking the vest off. Yeah, well, we've seen that before with Jack Stane when he really feels like it's going to be light lifting. I mean, he doesn't think he's going to break a sweat even wearing. Whatever type of fur that is, and you can't. I mean, you can't. Uh, <laughs> what did he say earlier? Forty-five seconds. Yeah. You know, I mean, so I don't think his expectations of this being a, a classic match are great. I think he expects to beat him. Jack Stane's got the power and the size and the strength, but Eric Jackson, he's got the he's got the quickness. Yeah, the agility. shows right there. 
He's got the go behind with Some, the waist lock. And sometimes that all, that's all it takes to be oh, a bigger oh, one, guy. One elbow, one elbow shutting down Eric Jackson. It's like a dog chasing a car. What are you going to do when you catch it? Yeah. So he used that quickness. He got behind Jax Dane, and then yeah. what are you going to do with it? I don't know if Jax Dane's a car. He might be a monster truck. Yeah, I'm not true. sure. Facts, yeah. Definitely with the lift kit. I'm just saying. As Eric Jackson is, you know, gasping for air at this point. Oh, but look at that. Sunset flip. Oh. Tries to bring him down into a pin. Bad spot. Bad spot. Oh. oh, but he missed. He missed with the leg drop. This is your opportunity, Eric. Break him down. Break the big man down. You got to yeah, take this window it. of opportunity when you can against a competitor the size of Jack Dane. He was going after that right leg. Boot up. I don't know if he's going to do enough oh. damage. Oh, just smothering him in the corner. That's just raw power. Yeah, just he, raw power. He launched him across the ring into that turnbuckle. Driving the air from his lungs, and he's struggling right now. Eric Jackson, he has got some guts, though. I mean, he is standing up for himself. Honestly, you know, the last time he went into this ring to confront Jackson, he was standing up for really the whole locker room. Because Jack Stane thinks there's nobody has, has the guts to go up against him. I mean, you have to admire Eric Jackson's guts. And, and at this point, his athletic ability. I yeah. mean, he just, came, he just came out of a potential devastating move and, and well. And this is a title match because yeah. Jax Dane was running his mouth and Eric Jackson stepped up to the plate. Oh, man. Now Not even let go of the no, wrist. Holding on to the wrist. Having to, having to force him to his feet. Oh, oh vicious wow. this, line. this crowd is really kind of out for blood at yeah. this point. Bakewell, Tennessee. I don't know how far that is from Knoxville. Maybe he's got some fans here. No, but now they're coming good. alive for Eric. Pop oh, the my, my gosh. God. Oof, goodness. Goes for the pin now, oh, wow. and oh, he got him. The winner of this match, and still NWA National Heavyweight Champion, the Dane event, Jax Dane. Jax Dane is demanding I'm coming. I'm coming. that. Kyle Davis joined him in the ring. Some dreams well, just aren't worth having, guys. It's hard to say. The Dane Event! The Dane Event standing tall with the national title. Who's going to be able to take that title from Jack Dane? I do not know. But somebody's going to have to step up to the Dane Event. As, oh, come on now. You want no trouble over here, please. Long history between these two over the World Heavyweight Championship. All right, folks, the Dane event victorious. We are going to see you next two or this coming Tuesday for NWA Power.